So Alpha Investments and MetaZoo are getting absolutely ripped apart in the MTG Finance. The MTG Finance is very critical on Alpha Investments and I give them credit. They tend to be smarter than average Magic players. Let's just uh, read some comments. MetaZoo always seemed like FOMO scam to me. Anyways, oh well. Folks would expect this from a Pokemon ripoff. No way. Rudy ke- kept telling me it was an investment. How can this be? His last video said he thought it was going under. His last video published after it went under. <laughs> But you know, continue being sensationalist. As someone who worked at a local game store, this game was a tumor. The player base was non-existent, the product would sit regardless of what it was, and the print quality was abysmal. Took up tons of space and had terrible communications with the LGS community. MetaZoo going strong, folks! Folks! Rudy was only playing himself with MetaZoo. Rudy was playing people. He always is. Always has been. I find applying the inverse Kramer index when listening to Rudy is most effective. But whatever he's bearish on and avoid, whatever it likes at all cost. But remember, Rudy has access to wholesale. He pushes a lot of things he needs help clearing. I walked into Locos and seen the same one guy sitting at the MetaZoo table by himself four weeks in a row before he switched to Magic. The lack of interest led to further lack of interest in a truly uninteresting game. Didn't TCG player do a promo for this game like last month for some super $150 Super collectible item. Yes, a collaboration with Sanrio. Hello Kitty. MetaZoo will stand the test of time. Rudy Alpha Investments. For me, it was obvious from the start. Who asked for this product? I get what they were aiming for, but it's such a niche target audience. Cryptid is something that not a lot of people know about, and the art style was questionable. It was trying to imitate early Pokemon art style, but kind of failed in my opinion. Add to that the ambition of Michael. When I heard him, he was trying to launch an animated series and merch. I knew this guy was either trying to do a rug pull, or he was too ambitious and would bring the game in the trash. Lo and behold, here we are. One less competitor, I guess. Wasn't even a competitor. Classic pump and dump. MetaZoo NFTs exist, by the way. Biggest red flag, everyone they owe money deserves to lose it. They advertise they're a pump and dump rug pull company, loud and proud, and people still went along with it. I like cryptids, and the art is absolute shit. Why I didn't buy any? Such a cool concept. Why did they have a class of second graders do the artwork? My thought was always like, how much cryptid lore is there? Enough to do several years of new sets? Like how many times can you you gonna make Mothman or we I never understood? Always looked like a company trying to fleece its fan base. Niche audience, it was aimed at NFT crypto bros, morons from the get-go. It's why Rudy pumped it so hard. I completely forgot about the NFT. I remember thinking at the time it was really hard to both to be both Pokemon First Edition and ABU without any of the installed equity those brands had built for decades. Like I've seen this play out before of other TCGs. Who knew a game based solely banking on secondary investor market would fail eventually? I think Rudy was big on this laugh out loud. He used to always talk it up. He was likely paid in cash or product to promote it. Illegal without declaring as a sponsor. He openly said he had business ties with them. There's even is a Rudy card in MetaZoo. Laughing my ass off. He made a video of him receiving the news. He had 200 boxes 
of each set, Ultra Rare Collector's Edition. He said he had 200 boxes. I used to watch him a lot because I found it entertaining and he showed this product a ton. Feel like he's gotten worse. He's contradicting himself with this in the card grading. Just to show product, he is obviously getting a big cut in. Also feels predatory for people as his audience is likely over leveraged in cardboard. When his normal finance videos where he always talks some sense, he says to only invest a very small percentage once you got your shit taken care of. So, MetaZoo, MetaZoo, really? They could have had a partnership with Power World. No, Power doesn't need this game. This game has the most do absolutely dog shit art. I feel bad if I find out a guy had his four year old son or daughter draw the art, but otherwise it is cringe. Horrifically bad. What a sh sham. Sham. So I guess no more MetaZoo cartoon. I don't mean to diss the artist, but the art style sucked and it seemed like a scam from day one. Anyone check how Rudy is doing? He already made a video. There's no parade to rain on, I suspect. He already made money hand over fist from the product. Sure, he has some remaining stock he's sitting on, but he already made a good amount of money. He probably only sad he didn't make more money from it. On to the next fad, I guess. Bro's eating his taco right now. Made a video right after away talking about how he is confused. How the company went down the tubes. Crying into his pile of money and tacos. Laugh out loud. Why is it always hate? Why do Rudy fanboys automatically assume everything is hate and jealousy when it comes to their daddy? It's so weird. Classic pump and dumper. That's why. It honestly sounds like a Rudy line. He was the person that got money flowing into the TCG. No hate for him. He made bank from the game, and I don't know how much product he retained for future investment. Good riddance. Big ol' rug pull, in my opinion. Rudy believers are in shock that rip-off Pokemon with ugly art failed. There was something about the name that didn't sit right. Too close to Logan Paul's Crypto Zoo NFT scam and other metaverse crypto scams. If you really think about it, this just makes all of MetaZoo reserveless. Rudy is probably happy. What about... Remember folks, when Rudy's pushing something, it's to ensure he's pulling something into his own pocket. Nothing more, nothing less, it's just business. Haha, -ha, get effed Rudy. You mean his loyal fanboys and buyers. Rudy's fine, he is fleeced, his moron base, heck, he could sell them literal shit and they would gobble it up like we saw with his anniversary kits, which was more predatory than Magic's 1000 anniversary proxy, proxy fiasco, laughing my ass off. Yeah, Rudy is de most definitely crying and wiping it off with bills he made from pushing this game. He'll be okay, his fanboys, not so much. Nah, Disney Locana. I mean, if Rudy gets involved, your indie TCG is dead. He came from MetaZoo, then Fab, and now Sorcery is next. He's definitely a strong symptom of pump and dump. At some point, he'll have to protect his own brand, though, or even his most devout followers will stop drinking the Kool-Aid. It was a little scam from the start, and Shields were def still defending it, and people got downvoted all the time for questioning, very cult-like following. 